Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Baker and this is my new 2016 Hobie Mirage Outback. I just picked up this kayak a couple days ago, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick overview uh, from bow to stern of this kayak and go over everything that comes with and all the features of the kayak. Now before we begin, I just want to say a big thank you to the new Anchorage Water Sports Center up in Longmont, Colorado. Uh, they, that's where I bought this kayak from and the customer service up there was excellent. Uh, the staff up there are all great. Uh, they did a great job answering all my questions about this kayak and going over all the features of the kayak with me. Uh, so if you're in Colorado or if you live along the front range of Colorado and you're looking for a new kayak, definitely head up to Longmont and check out the new Anchorage Water Sports Center. I'll leave a uh, link for their uh, website down in the video description below. Okay, to start off with, we'll go over a couple of quick specs for the 2016 Hobie Outback. Uh, first off, the length is 12 foot 1 inches, the width is 33 inches, uh, weight is 81 pounds, and with the seat and the Mirage Drive installed, it's 99 pounds. Total weight capacity is 400 pounds, and there's five colors to choose from. Uh, red Hibiscus, Caribbean Blue, Golden Papaya Yellow, Ivory Dune, and Olive Green. All right, up at the front of the boat, you've got a sturdy molded carrying handle that's tied into a stainless steel pad eye. Next, you have a large bow hatch that gives you access to the bow storage area, and this is where you can store extra gear or a small cooler, uh, and the hatch is secured with a couple of bungees. Uh, now, it doesn't come with a hatch liner, so if you want the hatch liner, you can buy one of those for about $60. And here's a quick look inside the bow, looking towards the stern of the boat. Uh, here you can see the sail mast, and this is one of the locations you can install a fish finder battery if you're using the Hobie Fish Finder installation kit. And right behind the bow hatch you have the sail mast. Uh, not only can you install the sail mast here, but you can also install a ram mount wedge base, uh, which will give you a ram ball to allow you to mount cameras, uh, electronics, and other accessories. Next is one of the main reasons why people buy an Outback, and that's the Mirage Drive. Uh, the drive comes with ST fins and is made with Hobie's Glide technology, which makes pedaling the kayak very easy, fast, and efficient. And here's what it looks like underneath the kayak as you pedal the Mirage Drive. Removing the Mirage Drive is as easy as pulling back on the two click and go drive locks on each side and pulling the drive straight out. Now installing the Mirage Drive is just as easy. Uh, all you have to really do is just lower the drive straight down and the drive locks will lock automatically. Now to adjust the drive cranks to your leg length, uh, simply squeeze the gray adjuster handles and position the cranks to the desired position and release the handles to lock them in place. Hobie also included a bungee to the right of the seat to lock the fins up against the bottom of the boat. Uh, this comes in very handy and will protect your fins if you're standing in the kayak while in shallow water. Uh, simply pull the right pedal all the way back and lock it into place with the bungee. And this is what your fins look like once you've locked the pedals into place. Moving on from the Mirage Drive, you've got two mesh pockets, one on each side. Now you've got to be careful because hooks will get stuck in these mesh pockets. Uh, and to prevent this, you can upgrade to the rubber pockets, and these rubber pockets are about $11 each. To aid in transportation, the kayak comes with two sturdy, ergonomic handles bolted on each side of the kayak. You also have two mid-boat rod holders, one on each side, uh, that will also hold nets and other gear. Uh, each rod holder has a rubber cap to help keep water out when you're not using them. In the middle of the kayak, right behind the Mirage Drive, you have an 8-inch twist and seal hatch. Inside the hatch is a gear bucket to give you quick access to small items such as tackle and lures, or to store items such as your car keys. Uh, the inside of the bucket has removable plastic tabs that allow you to customize your storage space, similar to that of a Plano box. Here's a couple of quick views of the inside of the mid-storage area. Looking forward, you can see a couple of foam blocks. And looking towards the rear, you can see a few more foam blocks. Uh, these foam blocks add support and flotation. If your hole was to ever get punctured and you start bringing in water, these foam blocks would help keep your kayak afloat. Now going down the right top rail, you can see the kayak has some molded in storage areas, a large cup holder, and an extra large pad eye. Going down the left top rail, you can see more molded in storage areas, along with a small cup holder, the rudder control, and an extra large pad eye. Hobie also includes a really nice two-piece paddle, and there's on-hole storage on both sides of the kayak along with bungees to hold the paddle in place. The Outback's Vantage CT seat is awesome and very comfortable, and comes with four different comfort level adjustments. Uh, the bottom of the seat can be adjusted up and down, and to do this, just pull the lever underneath the seat and move the chair up and down. To adjust the height of the seat, just pull the kickstand handle in the front of the seat and raise the seat to the desired level.
And here's a quick look at the seat's kickstand as you adjust the height of the seat. To adjust the recline angle of the seat, simply pull out the adjustment lever on the back of the seat, then just move the seat to the desired angle and release the lever to lock it into place. To adjust the lumbar support, simply twist the knob on the back of the chair clockwise to add support and pull the knob out to release lumbar support. To install the seat, just line up the front of the seat with the frame bar and lower the back of the seat to the back wall. While putting a little pressure on the front of the seat, lift the back of the seat to set it in place. Now go ahead and lift the front of the seat to make sure it's locked in place, and then go ahead and set your seat to the desired seating position. And lastly, make sure to connect the seat buckle to lock your seat to the kayak. To remove the Vantage CT seat, simply unlock the seat buckle in the back and rotate the back of the seat forward and it should easily pull off. Now behind the seat you have a large cargo area with two scupper holes, which happen to be the only two scupper holes on the kayak. You also have two more molded in rod holders with rubber caps. At the rear of the kayak, you have another 8-inch twist and seal hatch, which provides storage access and also access to the rudder cables. And here's a quick look inside the rear storage compartment. Next, you have another sturdy molded carrying handle. And finally, you have the twist and stow rudder at the end of the kayak. It's very easy to operate the twist and stow rudder. First, to set the rudder in the down position, simply pull on the down T handle to drop the rudder, and then cleat the down cord to lock the rudder in place. To turn the kayak, simply turn the rudder control left to go left, and turn right to go right. And to pull the rudder up, first uncleat and release the down cord. Then just pull the up T handle to retract the rudder. Now as you can see here, the rudder pin that holds the rudder to the kayak is actually made of plastic. Uh, now Hobie does this so that if your rudder hits up against anything hard, uh, this inexpensive pin will break and not your rudder. Hobie does give you an extra rudder pin and this is stored underneath the rear twist and stow hatch. One of the cool features I really like about the Outback is the Lowrance Ready System. This system includes a built-in cavity underneath the kayak and a protective plate to install your transducer. It also includes pre-drilled holes and waterproof plugs to run your transducer and power cables. Seen here is a three-way Hobie through plug that allows you to bring your cables up through the kayak to your fish finder. There's two of these plugs, one on each side of the kayak, so you can easily install your fish finder on the left side or the right side of the kayak. Hobie also includes a cassette plug which is used to keep water from splashing into the kayak when the Mirage Drive is not installed in your kayak. And the last few items you get with your Outback are two scupper plugs for the two scupper holes behind the seat, a pretty good user's manual that goes over some of the features of the kayak and how to operate the kayak, and you also get a Hobie through hole wiring kit that's part of the Lowrance Ready system and includes some grommets, O-rings, and other parts to help you install a fish finder. Alright, I hope everybody likes this video and is able to get a good overview of the 2016 Hobie Outback and all of its features. I've had this kayak out in the water a few times now and I gotta say, I really, really like this kayak. Uh, of all the kayaks I've owned or demoed, the 2016 Outback is easily my favorite kayak to fish from. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, please just go ahead and drop those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos like this one, some more gear review videos, unboxing um, videos, and of course some more fishing videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Jeremy Baker, and thanks for watching.